Well, guys, it's now time for my week five, you know, week six picks of the 2022 NFL season. As last week, I went 9 7, unfortunately. I had a streak like at 1 p.m. that just did not go my way. I think it was. So, anyways, here's the current regular season stands and the playoff stands at the season end of the day. In the AFC, it's the Bills with the bye, with Chargers at Chiefs, Dolphins at Titans, and Jets at Ravens. And the NFC, it's the Eagles with the bye, with Packers at Vikings, Giants at Buccaneers, and Cowboys at 49ers. And my Super Bowl prediction right now is still Bills over the Eagles. So now, let's get to my Week 6 picks. Starting off with Thursday night, as it's the Commanders at the Bears for the first time since 2016. Bears won the last one, and the Commanders haven't beaten them since 2016. And the Bears have not won at home since 2003. So, of course, the Commanders had a tough, hard-fought game against the Titans, but that pick at the end cost it for them, as they've now lost four in a row, playing like how they've done the last two years or so. Like, yeah, like the last two years, starting off very slow. Meanwhile, the Bears lost to the Vikings. They were getting blown, at, blown out at first. Then, all of a sudden, they made the comeback and took the lead, but in the end, they lost as they're now two and three. Oh, boy. Probably going to be a defense. I mean, I'm defensive slugfest as both offenses suck. But of course, right now, although the Bears' defense sucks a lot too, I probably trust them more than the Commanders right now. So I'll probably pick the Bears, but I won't be surprised if the Commanders get it. Then we get to the 1 p.m. games, as it's the 49ers at the Falcons for the first time since 2016. 49ers won the last one. The Falcons haven't beaten them since 2019, and the 49ers haven't won in Atlanta since 2001. So. The 49ers beat the Panthers last time out. A lot forced them to fire Matt Rule as they destroyed them. As their offense is not looking really good. Their defense is one of the best in the leagues, though. Meanwhile, the Falcons, they were getting blown out by the Buccaneers and almost made the comeback, but just couldn't seal the deal. So, I'm picking the 49ers for this one. Then it's the Patriots at Browns for the first time since 2016. The Patriots won the last four. The Browns haven't beaten them since 2010. As the Patriots shut down the mighty Lions offense. Shut them out. Very impressive job. Especially without Mac Jones. And the Browns had a hard-fought game against the Chargers. But just couldn't steal it at the end. Gee, that's been a trend so far for the Browns this year. Choking away games. They had the lead in. Hmm, not looking good right there. Oh boy, this could be a tough one. The Browns have a good offense. Patriots have a solid, pretty good defense. But their def their offense is pretty bad. The Browns' defense is kind of struggling compared to last year. But I this might be a bad move. But I think I'm going to still pick the Browns for this one. But I won't be surprised if the Patriots get it. Then it's a big outer conference matchup in terms of record. But I don't think it's an actual good matchup. As the Jets are at the Packers for the first time since 2014. Packers won the last four. The Jets haven't beaten them since 2006. As the Jets completely destroyed the Dolphins last week. As they are over 500 for the first time since week one of 2018. And how about that? They're in the playoff race right now since they have the longest drought in the league now. But the stat-wise, they're looking pretty good, surprisingly. Meanwhile, the Packers, what the hell was that? Losing against the Giants last week. Not looking really good in that regard. Very disappointing. So, might want to be concerned about the Jets right now because they're on some sort of momentum at the moment. But will it last, though, is the question. So, I'm going to pick the Packers still. But I guess I won't be surprised if the Jets somehow win it, even though I should be. Then we get to a big matchup with the AFC South on the line at the moment. As the Jaguars are at the Colts. The Jaguars won the last two. The Colts haven't beaten them since 2021. The Jaguars haven't won in Indianapolis since 2017. As the Jaguars now are starting to look awful again, as they gave the Texans their first win of the year, as their offense looked horrible, couldn't do anything right. Meanwhile, the Colts also have a horrible offense, but they got the win against the Broncos, who have been horrible so far this year. So, remember earlier in the year when I picked the Jaguars over the Colts, even though the Colts were vastly superior? That was in Jacksonville. But in Indianapolis, it's the reverse, where the Colts are superior. And I still think the Colts are better, so I'm going to pick the Colts this time. Then, it's a big hour conference matchup too, as the Vikings are at the Dolphins for the first time since 2014. Vikings won the last one, the Dolphins haven't beaten them since 2014, and the Vikings have not won in Miami since 1976. So, the Vikings almost choked it away, but they beat the Bears, as they're now 4-1 and right now. 
leading the NFC NFC North. Meanwhile, the the Dolphins, oh boy, they're completely falling apart. Like I told you all, they done like in 2013-18 when they started off 3 and 0 as they got obliterated by the Jets, and I don't think two was playing anytime soon, and right now it looks like they need two a badly to have any shot to win this season at the moment. So I'm picking the Vikings for this one. All right, then afterwards, it's another hour conference matchup as the Bengals are at the Saints for the first time since 2014. The Saints won the last one. Bengals haven't beat them since 2014, and the Saints haven't won it in New Orleans since 1993. So the Bengals... Hard-fought game against the Ravens, but once again fell short. Could have been 5-0 if everything went right in their game since all their losses were close. Meanwhile, the Saints finally beat the um, Seahawks last week to end their three-game losing streak. And they had a really strong offensive performance, too. Only problem is I don't really trust the Saints this year so far. They've been really struggling. At least the Bengals have been close in all their games, so I'm going to pick the Bengals for this one. Then we get to... A, what should be a huge hour conference matchup, even though I'm still not fully sold yet on the Giants, as the Ravens are at the Giants for the first time since 2016. Giants won the last, I mean, the Ravens won the last one. Giants haven't beaten them since 2016, and the Ravens haven't won against the Giants in East Rutherford since 1997. So the Ravens now lead the AFC North as they beat the Bengals barely last week, as Lamar still has not looked good these last two weeks, really. Meanwhile, the Giants got a huge victory last week against the Packers in London as they now matched their win total from last year. Unbelievable. Making a very strong start to the year. We'll see if they can maintain it, though. So, of course, the Ravens haven't beaten the Giants in there in East Rufford in 25 years, so you better take them seriously, Ravens. Although their offense has not been looking really good, though, in comparison I won't be surprised if the Giants get, but I'm still going to pick the Ravens for this one. Then it's the Buccaneers at the Steelers for the first time since 2014. Steelers won the last one. The Buccaneers haven't beaten them since 2014. And the Steelers haven't beaten them at home since 2006. Since remember, the Steelers gave the Buccaneers one of their two wins in 2014. So the Buccaneers held on to beat the Falcons as they're 3-2 and two right now. The only team with a win record in the a NFC South. Offensively, still not looking really good. Defensively, though, they're still very elite. Meanwhile, the Steelers got completely and utterly obliterated by the Bills. So right now, we might have to say the Steelers might be up as one of the worst teams in the league now as they're horrible in every single category offensively and defensively. Now, of course, the Buccaneers should not underestimate the Steelers because they also show up well against hard opponents. And also, like I said, historically, the Steelers always find a way to be around 500. And I still believe in that regard. But I'm going to pick the Buccaneers still for this one. Then we get to the 4 p.m. games. Starting off with the Panthers at Rams for the first time since 2016. The Rams won the last one. The Panthers haven't beaten them since 2016. And the, have, and the Rams haven't won at home against them since 2010. So the Panthers got crushed by the 49ers. Lead to Matt Rule getting fired after like two plus seasons. And they've replaced him was Steve Wilkes, who was the Cardinals head coach in 2018 before he was fired after one year. So we'll see if he got his second chance. But they're going to have to go up against the defending champion, who is not playing like the defending champions, as the Rams got humiliated by a Dakless Cowboys, as their offense is one of the worst in the league, when their defense being barely just good, hanging in there. Man, the Rams are definitely having a massive Super Bowl hangover right now. But the Pampers are really bad too, so I'm going to pick the Rams to get this still. But hey, watch out for the Panthers. Then it's a big one, the NFC West, as the Cardinals are at the Seahawks. For the, and the Seahawks won the last one. The Cardinals haven't beaten them since 2021. They haven't won in Seattle since two. No, Seahawks haven't won at home since 2020. And of course, possibly if the Mariners force a game forward, this game could possibly be changed because they'll be playing the same day. So we have to keep an eye on that. So Cardinals now lost. Two in a row, put up a hard-fought game against the Eagles like I told everyone they were going to do, but they just couldn't do it in the end, as they're now 2-3. and three. Seahawks put up a strong game against the Saints, but once again, their shitty defense just could not get them to victory, as they're 2-3 and three once again. This game could be very offensive, that'll be very cool to see. And if that's going to be the case right now, I actually am trusting the Seahawks offense more, so I'm going to pick them, but I won't be surprised if the Cardinals get it. 
Then, the huge matchup in the AFC with the number one seed on the line as the Bills are at the Chiefs for the second year in a row. As the Bills won the last one, the Chiefs haven't beaten them since 2020. And the Bills haven't won down there since 2017, actually. No, they haven't won at home since 2015 for the Chiefs, I mean to say. So, the Bills completely destroyed the Steelers, showing why they're the best, one of the best teams in the league. Meanwhile, the Raid, um, Chiefs barely held on to beat the Raiders. Oh, man, they should have blown them out, but they barely got right there. A lot of concerns in that regard. So, stat-wise, offensively, the Chiefs are playing good, but their defense is a lot to be concerned about. The Bills, meanwhile, are looking really dominant. Now, the Chiefs aren't playing as bad as they were at the beginning of last year, remember? And that's when the Bills completely crushed them. So, this could be a very interesting game. It can go either way, but I think I'm going to trust the Bills in the rematch. But I won't be surprised if the Chiefs get it. Meanwhile, then we get to Sunday night. A huge matchup in the division. Still not fully sure on the Cowboys, though. As the Cowboys are at the Eagles. As the Eagles try to go 6-0 and for the first time since 2004. Cowboys won the last three. The Eagles haven't beaten them since 2020. And Jesus, oh my God. I don't know what it is about Cooper Rush, but... When he's in the team, the Cowboys are undefeated. One of the best defenses in the league. Their offense is horrible, but hey, they completely crushed the defending champs. So, something's going right. And, of course, Dak's not playing this week. Good. They shouldn't force him back. They're undefeated with Cooper, so keep running with him. Meanwhile, the Eagles, hard-fought game against the Cardinals, and they got the win as their only team undefeated still. Uh, the Eagles should not underestimate Cowboys with that defense. And plus, of course, they're undefeated with Cooper, so that cannot be underestimated. But right now, I'm going to pick the Eagles still to get it. And then finally, we get to Monday night. A big one in the AFC West as the Broncos are at the Chargers. Chargers won the last one. The Broncos haven't beaten them since last year. And they haven't won in Los Angeles since 2019. As the Broncos remind me why they are the Lions, reverse Lions in this league so far. As they are flat out horrible offensively where they lost to the Colts and Russell Wilson looked horrible. Definitely look like a horrible trade to start off the year. Meanwhile, the Chargers got a hard-fought victory against the Browns. They're now two, won two in a row. Their defense is horrible, but it's looking hopefully maybe sharp for them to get another win right here. Now, funny enough, here's some interesting parallels if you want to think about this. When two, Ten years ago, when the Broncos brought Peyton in, they were not playing good to start the year. They were 2-3. and three. They visited the Chargers on Monday night in Week 6. Down 24 nothing, and they end up winning 35-24 to win out all the remaining games. So that's something you got to consider an interesting thought going into this game. Would that happen again? I have no idea. That will be insane if that happened. But right now, I'm going to have to pick the Chargers for this one. But hey, don't underestimate the Broncos, especially with that thought you had in mind about their past. All the parallels are there. So anyways, those are my picks for Week 6 tonight. I cannot wait for Commanders at Bears tonight. So my picks... Bears over the Commanders, 49ers over the Falcons, Browns over the Patriots, Packers over the Jets, Colts over the Jaguars, Vikings over the Dolphins, Bengals over the Saints, Ravens over the Giants, Buccaneers over the Steelers, Rams over the Panthers, Seahawks over the Cardinals, Bills over the Chiefs, Eagles over the Cowboys, and Chargers over the Broncos. So see you guys next time for Week 7.